Hi everyone, in today's video I'll walk you through how you can track and export basketball shot coordinates using the Easy Stats app. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Alright, let's jump right into it. We have the Easy Stats app down here, so I'll just click on it. And then we can, let's say I go to, uh, the, that's the main menu. We can click on teams and then from teams, I'll go to the default. I think that comes in within the app, just the US Olympic teams. So I'll go to game, I'll create a new game. And if we see on the top right, it's new game. I tap on that. The opponent name, let's call them do the work, do the work squad or something like that it can be anything uh, you can add a photo you can say if they're home or away I'll put them away and then next you have some settings the clock and so on that's not really what we're into just make sure you have the shot chart open and there are different court sizes right you can um, for college basketball in university basketball in Canada it's gonna be FIBA and there's a couple NCAA, so men's and women's, and then there's NCAA, double, or NBA, WNBA, and high school. So I'll leave it at high school for now. And that allows the court to have the right format, right? Because if you track on an NBA court, but really they're playing on a FIBA court, then they're not going to be at the right spots when you create your chart after. The last option is just to sort players by jersey numbers. That one doesn't really matter. Let's keep the default starting lineup and our game is created. As you can see in the middle, we have the USA Olympic team against do the work squad. And let's say do the work has a made three point because they're awesome. I tap on do the work, which is in the bottom right. And then I place it wherever I want. I have the Apple pencil, so it makes it uh, faster and more precise to do it but at the end of the day you're still eyeballing and it's an estimate so let's say I drop it in the right corner three somewhere around there you see that it's three nothing it tracks everything by itself and then let's say that the next possession um, Carmelo misses a two-point jumper from the left side here so we have this one and then you can track a free throw by um, Carmelo, let's say he got fouled, and then another three point by do the work, this time on the left wing, and so on, right? You can track a bunch of shots, you can track the different stats. Let's say there's an assist on do the work squad, something like this. And then once we're done, we can end the game. So we click the little menu, hamburger menu at the bottom left, end the game, and end game. So that's it. So we see that the home team lost one to six we click on the game we click on box score and that's what we're gonna share so that's a team box score but before we do that we can see the shot chart for both teams so two made three pointers and one missed jumper obviously not too exciting here but it's just an example if we scroll back to the top we have the box score we click on that and then share there's different ways to share this but what we're trying to do here is to export it via email. So when we click the share box score option via email, it automatically comes with three files. One is an HTML file for the box score. One is a CSV file, so you can upload it to Excel and R and all those things. And the other one is a CSV file for the play-by-play. -play. So for us, it's gonna be the CSV file for the play-by-play -play that we're interested in because that has the X and Y coordinates for every shot. So now I'll just send an email to myself and let's go look at the play-by-play. -play. Okay, so I've opened the play-by-play -play file from the email. We see that the first six rows are simply the floor time statistic. And that means it's just a substitution because that's the starting lineup. The real first row is the three point field goal made by the do the work squad. And if we scroll all the way, we see the X and Y coordinates in the last two columns. So then we can export these rows into R and get our sh shot data. And that's what we're gonna do in the next little bit here. 
If you've enjoyed this video, you're probably going to enjoy the rest of this sports playlist, so make sure to check those out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with Do the Work.